we will be continuing today uh, with Interface Builder that we did a short intro for in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to watch that before we get started here. So this is where we left off uh, from our last video. Now that we have a basic understanding of what Interface Builder is in itself, we're going to start going over some nitty gritty stuff that I personally think is very important and that will help you lay a very solid foundation for work down the, down the line. So you've noticed, I'm sure, that there are these .storyboard files. You may have also noticed that in some projects or some examples, you see a .xib file, which we don't have here, but we're, we're going to be adding it. And I want to explain what those two files are and what the key differences are. Uh, professionally speaking, in large projects uh, such as Google's projects or Facebook or uh, Microsoft's, um, I can attest to this firsthand, what we use at those large organization projects are a variety and combination of both, of storyboards and XIBs, which are called nibs. Uh, I'm not too sure why they're pronounced nibs. It kind of bothers me that it's an X and it's pronounced as an N, but let's, uh, let's stick with it. So a storyboard... Uh, to start with, because we have already have it open here, is a tool, is a rather not, it's not really a tool, so both Storyboard and Nibs are designed on top of Interface Builder. So the reason Storyboard was created by Apple, um, to go, to kind of walk back a little bit and talk about theory, uh, is to basically create a visual representation of all the screens in your application. So kind of like a storyboard, imagine on like a whiteboard, you drew out all the screens and the paths you can go from one button to the next, um, and basically all the steps you can take. So with that theory in mind, a storyboard is a representation of one or more screens or view controllers and their sub views and children. So we see here we have this like outline of an iPhone, which represents one view controller, which also represents one screen. We can actually head in this library and we can find another view controller and we can add this. So if we zoom out here, you can actually see that we can add uh, an unlimited number of screens in here and they don't all have to be this like plain uh, white empty view controller. We can add a variety of things in all of them and we can connect these to classes and in essence design our user interface for the entire app in here. So Storyboard is pretty powerful and lets you, in essence, design your entire user interface right here. So that begs the question, what the heck is a nib uh, XIB file? So imagine in a large organization or even in your own project, let's say you wanted to work on one specific user interface element and you wanted to really fine tune it or maybe it was a component that you meant uh, to be used in many places in the app so you like a reusable component maybe a fancy button or something would you want to do that over and over on every single screen probably not so a nib represents one specific view and we're going to create a button just to show you exactly that so key difference, a storyboard represents one or more screens and one or more views respectively, and a nib represents one view and its associated class, right? So how the heck do we create a nib? So let's go on our project here. Let's right click. Let's do new file. We're going to create a class and we're going to create an instance of a custom UI view. Cool. Notice that we can call this our view, and let's actually make this something a little more, um, a little better for our example's purpose. Let's make a UI table view cell. So if you're not familiar with a table view cell, uh, to reference the context app in the, uh, on your iPhone, on your contacts app, you have a list of contacts. Each of those contacts is displayed in a cell. So there's one or more cells and they're reused over and over, uh, which is why a cell is a really good example for a nib. So we're gonna create uh, this table view cell. We've called it our view table view cell. We're gonna hit this check mark, which is gonna say also create an XIB file. We'll keep this in Swift. We'll hit next, we'll let it save. And we'll see down here, it created two things for us. 
The first thing is a Swift file, which represents our custom, our view table view cell, which maybe wasn't the best name. And it's a type of UI table view cell. And it also creates this thing right here. So if we click into this, you'll see that it looks very similar to how storyboard looked, but the key difference is instead of having a phone screen here or a view controller, we have this window. So what the heck is this? So a table view cell is uh, a cell that goes in a table view, as the name implies. But more specifically, let's see if I can quickly show you guys a little picture to uh, paint the point that I'm trying to make. So right here, we have a table view, which is like a list of elements. And each of these things, these containers in the table view is a cell. So you can imagine, let's take the Facebook app for a reference. Every single post in, a, in the Facebook newsfeed has a couple similarities, right? It has a like button, it has a comment button, it has a share button. So being a Facebook engineer, you wouldn't wanna make that over and over again. So what you would do here is you would create a template kind of quote unquote, uh, technically speaking, it's called a prototype. And you could use that as many times as you want throughout your app in a variety of places. So that's the key difference between nibs and storyboards. And again, oftentimes you'll have a variety combination of both. So with that being said, I'd like to end the video here. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please leave comments, uh, very much appreciated. Subscribe for more iOS videos, tech videos in general. We're gonna continue with Interface Builder because it's so important and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.